Good morning. It is Tuesday, August 27th, and today is the Memorial of St. Monica. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Coming up, Dr. Greg Popchek shares how to talk to adult children who have left the faith. But first, your local weather and this news. murder case against retired Michigan State Police Sergeant Brian Keeley is moving to federal court. U.S. District Judge Harla Jabu agreed in a ruling with Keeley's defense team that he was acting as a federal officer the day he hit and killed Samuel Sterling with a vehicle while Sterling was trying to run from officers in Kentwood. There's a larger jury pool. We're looking at approximately 55, 56 counties in which jurors would be selected from versus just one county, Kent County, where the incident occurred. That was Cooley Law School professor Louis Langham. Keeley had had been appointed as a special deputy U.S. marshal at the time. It will be just a half day of school today for Detroit public schools due to the heat wave. Here is Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vitti. Obviously, you know, not the way you want to start off the school year, but we can't control the weather. We also can't control that um, half of our schools don't have air conditioning. VD says a decision has not yet been made about tomorrow. The district is planning to install air conditioning at all but 10 schools in the next five years. Students in Southfield Public Schools have today off as well due to the heat. Former Hawaii Representative Tulsi Gabbard is endorsing Donald Trump. At a campaign event in Michigan for veterans, the former Democrat backed Trump for what she said was his understanding of the grave responsibility that a president and commander in chief bears for every single one of our lives. Gabbard was formerly the vice chair of the Democratic National Committee, leaving the party in 2022. The village of St. Charles in Saginaw County is facing a lawsuit claiming its laws about political signs on private property violate the First Amendment. A Facebook post by St. Charles Police Department says the village will be removing political signs from people's yards, saying it violates local and county ordinances. Attorney Philip Ellison says that's a violation of the First Amendment. The village of St. Charles has not commented on the lawsuit. And how about this? The Detroit Zoo has announced a naming contest for their baby girl gorilla. The gorilla was the first born there in the zoo's 96-year history and is being cared for by her mother, Bandia. Voting is open now through September 9th, and people can vote as often as they like with a minimum $10 donation for each vote. There are five names to choose from. You're listening to Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and streaming us anywhere you go with the free Ave Maria Radio app. Your local weather is coming up next. Now this. This is Franciscan Father Greg Friedman for the Catholic Communication Campaign with a message about faithful citizenship. Jesus shocked the righteous folks of his time when he hung out with sinners and those on the fringes of society. But in Jesus, we see the best of what a human being can be, laying down his life for those he loves. He's the foundation for our conviction that all human life is sacred. We bring this priority to our political choices this election year. For more, go to faithfulcitizenship.org. It's going to be hot today in Detroit, and the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory for the area. Our high will be 92, but heat index values will reach 102. Tonight, we'll have a chance of thunderstorms, and lows will dip to 73. Tomorrow, we may see some scattered thunderstorms again. Highs will be around 85. Thursday will be partly sunny with highs around 80. And Friday will be mostly sunny with temperatures in the upper 80s. It's going to be hot today in Saginaw, and the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory for the area. Our high will be 92, but heat index values will reach 102. Tonight, we'll have a chance of thunderstorms and lows will dip to 73. Tomorrow, we may see some scattered thunderstorms again. It will be cooler. Highs will be around 78. Thursday will be mostly sunny with highs in the lower 80s. And Friday, showers are likely with temperatures in the mid 80s.
Often it can be difficult to talk to adult children about God, especially those who have walked away from the faith. Dr. Greg Popcheck had this advice for a caller on More to Life. In your relationship, especially with your son, the relationship we have with our adult kids has to go beyond you know, values and beliefs and ideals. We, we want our kids to, to share our faith, and, and, and ultimately that's important. But, but when, the, when the relationship becomes entirely about politics or values or faith, then our adult kids feel like they're projects, not persons. And that we're trying to, we're foc- are focusing our entire relationship on trying to get them to think the way we do or, or believe the way we believe, which of course would be wonderful. We all want that. It's heartbreaking when our kids don't, don't, don't hold our values and our faith. But if that becomes the entire focus of the relationship, then, we, then they, f- they feel like we're toxic. And they need to distance themselves from us because we're not able to see the good in the things that they're trying to pursue the way they're trying to pursue them, even if they're not trying to, even if they're not pursuing them in the healthiest way possible or in ways that we wish. It's important to try to, to do the Catholic thing, which is to find the good where it can be found and to see them as persons who are struggling, who are striving, and to try to see what the positive intention behind those struggles are and support those intentions the best that we can. I really want to encourage you, Karen, to check, a, check out our book, Having Meaningful, Sometimes Difficult Conversations with Our Adult Sons and Daughters, um, because it really talks about how we can get past this temptation to turn our adult kids into projects instead of persons and build a real relationship with them and, and how to have those conversations in ways that they might find receptive. The other thing I want you to do, Karen, is I don't, I, I'm glad that you're faithful. I'm glad that you're going to church. I'm glad that you're a devout Catholic. I want you to take that grace that you're receiving from the sacraments, that grace that you're receiving from your prayer life, and focus on your healing. I want you to get good professional pastoral counseling help to, to really learn how to let that grace seep into the deepest parts of your heart, because I want you to be a witness to your kids about how your faith is helping you heal and be that strong, beloved woman of God who, who they can look at and say, you know what? Mom's been through so much and she's really getting it together because of her faith. Listen to More to Life at 10 a.m. here on Ave Maria Radio or on demand with the Ave Maria Radio app. St. Jerome says, patient and generous, and his mercy God does not give in to human impatience, but is willing to wait a long time for our repentance. I'm Matthew Handley, and that does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings on a Tuesday. You can stay connected with me on X. I'm at Radio Handley, and Lord willing, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.